next sequence. Um, so three, five, seven, nine. So actually, these are odd numbers, right? Um, okay, one, three, five, seven. So this is a sequence, and it's a sequence with a particular pattern. And the pattern states or shows that I'm adding a number. Oops, I meant to when I wrote three. I'm adding a number to each term to get to the, to the next one, but I'm adding the same number to each term to get to the next one, right? I'm staying consistent with that throughout the actual sequence. So there is a pattern, and the pattern, when that happens, is um, the fact that it, it's an arithmetic sequence. So when I'm adding a number, which is the same, I'll show you in a second that is the same as subtracting a number, but when I'm adding a specific number to each term of the sequence to get to the next one, and that number is constant throughout the sequence that I'm adding, I have an arithmetic sequence. That number that we're adding is D called the common difference. And the common difference in this case, in this particular example, would be positive 2 because I'm adding 2 to each term to get to the next one. Um, and then I could go from there and actually represent uh, the nth term of this particular arithmetic sequence. Um, let me just do it. When I have an arithmetic sequence and I want to represent the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, right? You're going to represent it in explicit form. And it's this formula. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence is always the first term plus n minus 1 times d, d, which is the common difference. This is the formula. As simple as that. So, I need to identify A1, the first term, and the common difference to be able to write the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, which is not difficult. In this case, the first term is the first term, 1. The common difference is positive 2, so we already identified those two. And if I want to represent the, the nth term of this particular arithmetic sequence, I start at the first term, and I add to that n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2. Simplify this, which is not difficult. 1 plus the 2 will distribute 2n minus 2. And then my nth term is 2n minus 1. So if I want now, let's just test it, okay? If I want now the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 term, let's just test it. I'm going to go a6, replace n with 6. Everywhere I see an n, I'm going to replace with 6. And I should get 11, because I'm just verifying that this is, in fact, the nth term of this, and it works. So if I want the hundredth term, now I can find it. If I want the thousandth term, now I can find it, because I have the nth term in explicit form. But since it's arithmetic, it follows this. So all I have to identify is the first term and the common difference, and I'm good to go. Um, one more example. Let's assume that I have a fo the following sequence. Um, so 7, 2, negative 3, negative 8, blah, blah, blah. So this is a sequence. Now you're not going to be told that it's arithmetic. You're going to have to look at it and go, oh, I see this, you know, this pattern. And this pattern says that I'm adding a number to each term. And if that, that number is constant, it's arithmetic, which means that now I can go ahead and use this. But let's see, um, to get from 7 to 2, there are different ways that I can do that. Now, you're going to have a combination of arithmetic and geometric. You're, you know, you're not going to know you're in this section, which deals with only arithmetic. So you have to think about what you could do to go from 7 to 2. There's different ways that you could do that. You can multiply by a number, you can divide, you can subtract. So let's see the basic situation. I'm subtracting 5, right? Let's see if that stays consistent for the rest of this sequence. To get from 2 to negative 3, okay, I'm subtracting 5. To get from negative 3 to negative 8, so this looks like I am subtracting a number from each term to get to the next one, which means I'm also, or means the same thing, is adding a negative number. So I'm adding negative 5 to each term to get to the next term, which is constant. That, that's a constant value, which means that I have a common difference. It's arithmetic, right? The sequence is arithmetic. 
I have the common difference, which is negative five, because that's the number that I'm subtracting from each. So even though you're subtracting a number, you still have to figure out what number you're adding to each term as your common difference, okay? This is not just gonna be five. It's whatever term or whatever number you're adding. So you're adding a negative number to be able to subtract. So the common difference here is negative five. The first term is seven. So now I can go ahead and write my, uh, my sequence if I want. The nth term of this particular arithmetic sequence is the first term, which is seven, plus n minus one times d in this case, which is negative five. Sometimes they ask you for it in this form, but I like to simplify. Distribute the negative five, it's a negative number, so minus five n plus five. And now the nth term, seven plus o. Sometimes you leave with constant, sometimes you leave with the variable term, it doesn't really matter. In this case, I'll leave with constant because I'm subtracting this. But I could also represent it as, if I want, negative five n plus 12. They both mean the same thing, right? So they, sometimes you see it this way, sometimes you see it that way. So this is your arithmetic sequence. Um, and then this is your formula for the nth term of this particular arithmetic sequence. So it's not hard. Um, obviously, you can add a bunch of different numbers, though, right? You can add fractions, you can add decimals. But um, another way to determine if you have a constant, you can always take this and subtract that. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. Negative three minus two is negative five. This is a fast way too of determining what that common difference is. Take the second term and subtract the first term. Take the third term and subtract the second term. Take the fourth term and subtract the third term to see if that is the same number every time. So, any questions about that? 